Check this out. Le Panthère kicks off against Lee Car Yi. Well, that was a ruthless width from Yi. Uh, four points on the spin now for Yi. Very, very positive. Good movement. Cinch perfect. Sort of hope that Yi would maybe accept that interference and go through and play that ball, ideally. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Yeah, she did the good basic work at the back of the court. Not panicking. Certainly a sharpening opening game of that ranking level. She's playing a lot a lot better than what her ranking is at the moment, but obviously that's been slightly subdued due to the lack of tournament play. For me, she's the way she's playing like this is you know, like a top 20 squash. Nice finish. Yeah, kept calm. To be um, she didn't panic. There's some very, very dynamic movement and artillery in our shot selections from Yi. But Camille's uh, moving as well. Making quick work of this second game at six love. be gunning for here Drew Boy. It's the old bagel. Yeah. The donut as it's called here in the States. Well, the backhand volley drop working nicely. Well, very, very solid there from Camisa. It looked like it could be a bit of a tougher matchup from the performance of Yi in the first game. But the constant pressure and consistency me so I'm a bit too much for you 23 minutes perfect run around really for Camisa um, three love victory certainly got a lot of potential this young lady from Hong Kong and I'm sure we'll be seeing her moving up the rankings she's fresh from her first PSA title actually Cindy Merlo beat uh, Enora VR in the final of the Swiss Open just back in March. So that's it's one on the books. It's always good to get your first PSA title. That's a dangerous area to leave Klein in, though. She can be doing that up there in the backhand with time. Oh, 
world, you're talking about that title that Merlo won the Swiss Open, a real famous tournament, one of the longest running tournaments. Oh, it is, yeah. Did it's you play that? I did. And no. there was, um, it was uh, unbelievable. There was no. kind of pre, pre, pre qualifying before the qualifying. And was it a PSA title at the time? Yeah, there was myself, James, Wolstrop, Borja Golan, Lawrence Anjima. Some the big great names in it. Big, big names, big people, big names. It was big. Some big and width, they'd, some they'd big and yeah, height. Yeah, they did say it was one of the biggest events they've ever had. <laughs> so many big names that were up, up and coming. It's a, that one's a rite of passage, that Swiss Open. Yeah, it was, it was I remember 128. Yeah, no, it was. A lot of rounds. Five minutes, I mean, that was quick fire stuff from Olivia Klein. Doing a lot of work here. She's done very well yeah. to stay in this rally, Merlo. And down four two. She definitely is. She does go for those. Four game balls. The world number 13. Last month's ranking. there for Klein. She was off to the elevators. She was. She was. Struggled to get one here. Seven minutes, so quick fire stuff. Merlo certainly responded at the mid stage of that second. The latest tournament, so I think she could do for the confidence of being the American on home soil, I think she could do with a nice convincing free love win here. Just getting the targets, playing really solid squash, error-free squash too. What she's doing. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of confidence. Naturally a confident player. Can't put a foot wrong here. Oh. It's good. Nine, three, she wound up beautifully there, set herself nicely. A really powerful, clean line. There we have it. Olivia Klein converting the three love victory. Very confident from Klein. To see the ever improving Sydney Merlo. She's certainly going to get better with age. 21 minutes for this first round encounter. Three love victory for Klein. And at times, definitely tested. A few questions asked, but she'll be over the moon to get through unscathed Olivia Klein she's got a day's rest tomorrow it's her maiden uh, visit to the world champs for Lucy Beacock Five, six. A, tw a 24 it's quite uh, quite old for a squash player to be yeah sorry. well Try to catch Gohar out, test her into those front corners. That's the type of thing she doesn't really want to be forced into. Nine, five. If you're forced into the boast, I mean, Gohar's just going to thunder onto that ball.
trouble. It's uh, an impressive first game, enjoyable first game between these two bits. The onslaught of Noran Goha that takes it 11 6. She's leading Beecroft by one game to love. below the service line on this court. It's that first panel, and you need to get it over that part of the court, so a little higher, the top third of the court. See, that's still a little bit too low, that lob. Well, mixing it up quite nicely. Go Hart, Croft. Nine game balls for Go Hart. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I mean, I don't know if Beecroft will know what hit her in that game. It was like a two ton truck. See, Gomez's follow through is quite dynamite. See, that goes all the way up. That is a great touch. Yeah, there's, there's what Lisa Beecroft can do. If you give her opportunities, she will generally take them. Yeah, that's true. I'm trying to think back when I was playing, say, for number 92 in the world, highest rank, was playing uh, at number two. I think this match would have lasted about 13 minutes. That'd be on and on. That is a brilliant shot. Five, She's casual Thursday. Wow. She's she means business. She is just got, she's even got a little shuffle in between it, like Nicole David used to do. You know when she was on a run of points? Yeah. She almost scurry to the service box after the next one. Five. Five match balls for Goha. Well, the ball sailed out. Good contest between these two, but um, the thunderous Terminator, Nora Gohart, stormed the way through the first round. 22 minutes, winning three love against the very skillful Lucy Beecroft. So, in very, very good shape as well and oh it's clever it's good nice awareness play. of the space by Lope. And L3, she's as you say unorthodox that's a lovely shot Hard-hitting stuff. Sabrina Sobi wanting to play a blistering tempo. Certainly suits her game, being such an athlete. She could be... Well, Sabrina Sobi taking the first game against Ali Loke of Wales. And one. Sabrina Sobi just acknowledging. The 
well to get that ball back, Loke. She was certainly sticking on in this. Very gutsy rally from Loke. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Sabrina Sobi, she's flying around the court. Yeah, makes it look very easy. Really steeply hitting down on the ball. She has a good full swing when she's got the opportunity, Sobi. Best oh. rally of the match. Yeah, it's excellent rally. Really tough rally. All credit to Ali Loke as well. She was under a lot of pressure for quite a considerable, I can't even say it, considerable amount of time. Textbook. Not convinced by this one, but she could have reviewed it if she wanted to. Not sure she would have had much joy. No, I doubt it there. But uh, Sabrina Sobi going from strength to strength. Some good squash and some gutsy squash there from Ali Lowe. But the eight is good to know. Textbook again. She gets in the love. Well, Sabrina Sobi just running everything down. Constant pressure. Such high position in the court. Oh, it's a lovely shot. With eight match balls to book her place into the second round of this World Championship. Oh, that's unfortunate for Ali Lowe. Just not hitting it cleanly, but what an experience for her. <laughs> 21 minutes for Sabrina Sobi. She'll be very, very happy with a very sparky, confident performance to put her in good stead and also a run out on the glass court.